So Monday in training camp, the Dolphins' defense continued to dominate the offense. The thing is, we don't know if the defense is any good. Chris Perkins, Omar Kelly of SunSentinel.com, and oh, I, I was a little bit concerned today. Adam Gase. Just today? Well, look, Adam Gase said the Saturday performance in the scrimmage for the offense was a hiccup, a speed bump. I think it's more than that, oh. I think they have real concerns here. I've said all of training camp. I have more concerns about the offense than the defense. What are you seeing you, out there? You know why it's not a hiccup and a speed bump for us? Because we've seen it consistently for at least five years. Yeah. Uh, I'm not even going to throw in the Chad Henney era. Yeah. Uh, hey, Gay, saw it, Gay started it, as you point out. He started that mile-high decline, right, yes, with his offense in Denver two years ago. Yes, he did. Uh, but the problem is – we always see this defense just dominate this Dolphins offense, and we think, oh, man, this defense is going to be great. Oh, they're going to be good. Didn't we think this defensive line was going to be like a top five unit last One year? One of the all-time best in Dolphins history yeah, is what we you thought. Wrote that I, I did. Story. Hey, I, I talked to Tim Bowens. I talked to Jason Taylor. It wasn't just me. Get off me. Get off me. And they were a disaster. Yeah. And this year, I'm not saying that they're going to be a disaster. I'm not saying that they're going to be bad. But come on, Perk. You know this damn defense yeah. ain't this damn good. No, they are not. The, and, so that means that your offense might be putrid again. Yeah. And, and, you, and you could be returning ten starters, oh, and you drafted six of your – six of your eight draftees were offensive. Like, what, what's going okay. on here with this offense? You, I, you, I, you know what I think it is. It's, yeah. the, it's the engine. Yeah. You think it's Tannehill. I didn't say that, Tannehill. I, I just said it was the engine. You decide what is the engine of the offense, that's on you. But if, if the engine is bad on a vehicle, yep. your vehicle will eventually break down. Yep. It's going to leave you on the highway. Yeah. And it's yep. not going to be efficient. This team will not produce wins if they don't run the ball effectively mm -hmm. and if they can't protect the quarterback. So this offensive line, they've got to get it in the gear. Brandon Albert says, if we suck against the Giants, then you can be on us. Yep. And I'll patiently wait. Yeah, there we go. Uh, as far as injuries, we see Xavier Howard, the cornerback, second-round pick from Baylor, running more aggressively. This is the third straight day he's, not he's run up. aggressively. He's not cutting he, he did some cutting out there uh, Saturday and uh, okay, Friday. So here, but yeah, yeah, but but, but light cutting. Is cutting. Like, no, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> saying he's ready. But Devontae Parker also doing more aggressive. Uh, rehab oh, no, with that no, hamstring no. injury. So both of those guys. You know it, Devontae ain't going to be practicing no time soon. Oh, no, I'm not I'm not leading up to that. What I'm saying is it appears both of those guys are progressing without setbacks and they're going harder. I'm not saying that either of them is, is imminent to return. But, regular season. But they're, yeah, yeah, for both of them that might be regular season. Uh, as far as the, the defense, oh, um, we are seeing those ends making a lot of plays. Now on Saturday, we've got to remind you again, it was the – First team offense against the second team defense. Second, uh, second team offense. First team offense against the second team defense, and okay. second team defense against the first team offense. So what you saw from the starting defensive ends was against the backup offensive line. But don't make excuses. No, because no, I'm not. I'm we not. Had I'm three starters out. That that's that that's what suck. that's what I'm building up to. Yeah. So uh, today you had Earl Mitchell, Cam Wake, and Mario Williams all out. And we still saw the uh, the the defensive ends getting in there. Uh, what do you what do you make? Uh, what do you make of that? I I just think that the offense is very disjointed, very discombobulated. Nothing is going well for them. Run, red zone, third down, goal line. goal line. I thought they did better at goal line. Yeah, but that but the off the first teamers only had one touchdown. That was the Jarvis Landry touchdown. It's just not good enough right now. You're not scoring 24 points yet. No. No, which you're, not is, even, you're not even close. Right. Two years ago, they averaged 24.3 points per game, 11th in the NFL. Last year, they dropped to 19.4, 27th in the NFL. Looks like they're going to be closer to last year than 2014. We'll keep you updated on everything. That's Omar Kelly. I'm Chris Perkins. You're watching SunSentinel.com.